Hey everyone and welcome back to another Modix video. Today I have a great video planned for you guys where we're going to be breaking down the meta of Valorant. We're changing the meta right now and we're soon going to see a triple sentinel team comp meta. So in today's video we're going to be talking about what this team comp is, why the triple sentinel team comp will be the meta, how teams should spread out agents during their matches, what agents best suit the meta, and the best playstyles to use. So if you're interested in this, then stay tuned because we're going to be diving right into it. But before we get into that, I just want to say, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, because I've been posting daily Valorant guides to help you guys get better. And if you aren't subscribed, then you might not see one of the videos that might help you out. So be sure to subscribe because like 95% of you aren't, and that's just not cool, bro. So to start out this actual video, let's talk about what the triple Sentinel team comp is made up of. So to start, we have our three Sentinel agents, Cypher, Sage, and Killjoy. These agents are super strong on defense. They don't have too many abilities when it comes to offense, but their defense holds are insane. And that's mainly what this triple Sentinel team comp revolves around. So we have those three. And then the last two are kind of up for grabs. We don't know just yet because we haven't seen any professional play where Killjoy is allowed to be played in. But here are a few of my thoughts when it comes to what agents might fill these last two spots. So one, we have Brimstone. We need some sort of smokes for this team comp and Brimstone's the perfect choice because of his ultimate. If we're talking about wanting to win every single defensive round, Brimstone's ultimate will allow you to do this by just ulting on, type, on top of the spike. This is going to help a ton and it's going to allow you to win a few defensive rounds. So if it's like a 1v5 clutch in post plant, you can just wait for them time to go down and then you can just ult on top of that spike and it's going to help you guys out a lot. And then we have one last spot. Of course, you could not use a brimstone. You could use like an omen or a jet or a viper, some sort of controller that will give you smokes. I know jet is a duelist and we'll talk about that later, but that's our last spot. We want some sort of duelist to get the kills because attacking, you will find the triple sentinel team comp to be very bad at. So you need some sort of duelist to carry. This could be jet if you want the more smokes, but then it could also be Phoenix for flashes Reyna for flashes because remember, none of the previous agents have flashes to use. Then our last duelist that you could use is possibly Raze because we all know that she's kind of broken and that's what players have been saying. I personally don't know if I agree with that. You just need to learn how to counter her, but a lot of players like playing Raze just for that utility that she's able to get into unique positions and just play so aggressive on. So maybe choose some sort of duelist or save that last spot for a Sova to gain even more intel. Remember that Cypher can already gain intel with all of his utility, such as his tripwire, his his Cypher cage, and then even his camera. I know you guys might be like, how does the Cypher cage give you intel? Well, you can just listen for the audio. Whenever players step inside the cage, you're gonna know that they're there. So that's what I would recommend for the team comp and what it's basically gonna be made of. Uh, now let's talk about why the triple sentinel team comp will be the meta i think that this is a super strong team comp just because if you're able to win every single round on defense you're gonna at least win 10 rounds because i'm gonna exclude um both the pistol rounds for the start of the game because if you lose the pistol round then you might lose the econ save round afterwards so that's why i would say you're at least going into the half 10 to 2. Maybe you start on attacking side, you can literally lose um, 10 to 2 and you'll be fine because you can just go win the 10 next rounds and it's all good. But with this team comp, you're mainly going to want to focus on your defensive holds. If you're able to just hold players off a of site for a good amount of time, see that they're there and then allow players to rotate, then you should be really good. And that's why I feel like the triple sentinel team comp will be amazing because Cypher, first of all, the tripwire and cages will slow players down and you can also gain intel with his camera, which I really like. Sage is the ultimate staller in Valorant, so she's a great addition to the team. And then Killjoy with all of her defensive utility. If you play her correctly, then you're going to have teams that struggle to pushing the site that Killjoy's on. And then if we have a brimstone in there, the smokes will also be able to delay because teams will probably not push through the brimstone smoke unless they just want to die because you should be able to get the pick on at least one of their players. 
hopefully you get two and you still have numbers and then as for Sova, you can gain that intel. He doesn't really have a delay. And that's why we play him with one of the other Sentinels. So that kind of brings us into how teams should spread out agents. So this is kind of the key to the meta. You need to learn how to spread the agents out correctly. I would personally really recommend playing Killjoy and Cypher on the same site if it's a two bomb site map. Because this way, Cypher has the cages, the basically a tripwire and the camera to be able to activate all the nano swarm grenades and any other utility killjoy might want to use so you gain the intel but then you also are able to slow players down keep them guessing where killjoy's utility are you just show the presence of the cypher early so that they don't really expect the killjoy utility after like maybe like during the first round they won't expect it after they push through all the cypher technology so that's why I like playing those two together. And then on the other bomb side, I would put this Sage, the Brimstone, and then your Duelist or your Sova for Intel. And you could always switch this. You could play Killjoy by yourself with a Duelist so that the Duelist can just peek off of the Killjoy utility and just frag out, get a ton of kills because that can be really helpful. But that's how I would like to spread out the units. If I got to like decide, that's what I would say to be the best spreading out. So now let's move on to what agents best suit the meta. So when we talk about agents best suiting the meta, it's not always going to be the agents that were inside of the team comp. We also have to keep in mind what, so what a few agents are that will definitely counter the meta. And one of the people that I can think of is Ray. She has so much utility that can destroy other people's utility. And that's why I believe Sage is, or Race is really going to shine during this meta. And then also we might be able to see like Arena and Viper be chosen so that they're able to really use their big brain moments and just outshine the other team. I think that's mainly with Viper is she can play smart using her wall and her smokes. Then she'll be able to beat out Killjoy and the other Sentinels relatively easily. But then when we have Reyna, the reason why I included her was because she's able to use that dismissibility and it's perfectly fine she can just go ahead she can kill one person use her dismissibility and then run through the site to clear out any cypher trip wires and then killjoy uh utility because she won't be harmed by them she can just use dismiss and go through them so that's all great and then another plus to using reyna is that you don't have to waste your sage heal on her i really think that that's a huge plus with reyna that might prove to be very useful when playing with a Sage. I mean, it's one less person you have to heal that also goes with Phoenix if you want to choose him for the Duelist. So yeah, that's those are the few agents that I would really say are going to best suit the meta. Now let's talk about the best play styles to use this with. So starting out this video, I kind of said that you really want to focus on defensive minded players just because you want to try to win every single defensive round. I think that the best players or the best play styles to use this with are going to be the attacking players who are able to go ahead and frag out with any agents without using any uh, utility from the other agents. So I would really see like the CS players really loving this team comp because you don't have many abilities to go ahead and peek from. So you're constantly dry peeking if you don't have like your brimstone with you or your flashes from either Reyna or Phoenix if you don't have those in the team. So that's why I would say CS players are going to benefit a lot because they can just dry peek and win the gunfight and just use their aim that they've acquired over the years of playing FPS games. And that's why I think that they're the best fit because you don't really need to win that many attacking rounds but if you do, it just makes life a whole lot easier because the agents utilities, if you can learn how to use them together and create those synergies between agents, you're going to start to see how really easy defending is. If you're able to just create the best setups in Valorant on every single site, then you're going to be just fine because you just combine that utility, you peek off the utility correctly you're going to find yourself winning so many more rounds. And that's why I believe the triple Sentinel team comp is going to be the new meta in Valorant. Hopefully this video did help you out. And if it did, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe with notifications on. That's going to be all for me today. If you want to go check out one of our other videos, be sure to look on your screen right now. There should be an end screen. That's going to be it for me today though. And I will see you all in the next one.